Hello YouTube. It's been a while. I mean it's only been like a week, but I mean you know we'll that just, just roll the clip. It's 2021 and this year I'm actually gonna try and teach you uh, filmmaking. Keyword try. Then don't mind me look like a homeless person. It's a Monday. What do you expect? I mean, I filmed this on Friday, but that, that's besides the point. So Billy here has an idea for a movie, right? He pulls out his middle school composition notebook and starts writing. Now you might think, man, that is totally unprofessional, right? Wrong. Writing down your ideas, whether it's in cohesive order or not, is the first step to getting your movie scripted. These type of word dumps are commonly called beat sheets, log lines, or a story map. Now that Billy has all his ideas written down in, in a jumbled mess of whatever that is, he is ready to get organized. Something that I like to do is make a separate document that has a bunch of just random details in it, whether it be character names, their backstories, plot ideas, or just random ideas that I might have had in the shower or something. Oh, that's a great idea. View this document as a shopping list, so to say, of ideas that you can add on to continually, but also pull from when you are writing your script. Okay, so Billy got his ideas on paper, he organized them into details, so now he's ready to write. Now you can totally write your scenes, dialogue, and action in whatever format you'd like. Right now, today, I'm teaching you how to do it in the professional screenplay format, but really, whatever works for you works best. I'm just showing you what I do. If you don't want to learn this type of formatting, Feel free to skip to the next section. Billy, no, you're coming with me. Get back here, get back here, you're learning this. So for any professional filmmaker out there, give me some slack, I learned this on the internet, so if it's not 100% professional, don't yell it. Now I totally understand that everyone has their own style of scripting and their own way of formatting it, but I'm just showing you what I do, and there's no really right or wrong to it. I personally like to use pages to script, so I made myself a custom template that I can just click and get into and not have to worry about reformatting the whole document. So if you use pages as well, I included the template link in the description. Now the screenplay font is Courier and the default size is 12 point. On the title page, I include the title of the film, the writer's name, and if it's based on anything. Then in the bottom right corner, I personally like to put the date I began writing the script, my company name, and a copyright year. For the actual writing scene, we always start with something called a slug line. Now, a slug line, this tells you what scene it is, whether it's an interior or exterior location, the actual location, and the time of day. Now, if you need to put a specific location within the main location, you can do that as well. And then you're ready to start writing. All the action is collected in paragraphs, and any dialogue is sent with the character's name in all caps above what they say. And in all honesty, it's as simple as that. Now you can get that mess of a story in your head into properly formatted scenes, dialogue, and action. Even Billy can do it. For more in-depth explanations on how to format, whether it be the margin sizes, the exact measurements of the margins and the header and the footer should be, I left links to a few articles that I personally use myself that helped me and taught me how to write a movie script. So I left those in the description, check them out. Studio Binder had a really great one. That's the one I really went by. But that's it for today. I'm so glad I was able to get out recruiting Mondays for 2021. Hopefully we're gonna have more. I am posting and uploading every week on Mondays. Very happy, not always for Gritty Mondays, but it's gonna be something. So keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all the fun stuff. And I would love to hear if this did help you out and if you wrote a script based off of my format or the stuff that you learned in the links in, in the description. But that's it. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on Monday when I really always never know what's happening the next week. But I'll see you Monday.